I would love it if, uh, if you can share some recollections of, of Dick Powell, who I think is really, uh, unfortunately, becoming somewhat of a, if not forgotten, there are certain actors, uh, George Raft, Alan Ladd, Dick Powell, that the modern generation doesn't know as well as some other actors. He was better than any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Powell, not only was he a terrific actor and very versatile, but he really was a tremendous independent filmmaker who struck out on his own in the 40s. And his, a lot of the films that needed to be rediscovered and restored, oh yeah, Pitfall that he did with Andre de Toth, his, and, that, and, 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 uh, and Bill Bowers, uncredited, wrote the screenplay for Pitfall as well. Oh yeah, 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 he wrote it with Andre, uh, and it's terrific. And But a lot of these uh, Dick Powell pictures were independently produced, and he really was way ahead of the curve. Uh, in terms of controlling his own material. So do you, do you have any, in, what do you remember about Dick Powell? Oh, it was, I just remember when I first, he, I first met him and he was considering my, my co-starring with him and, <coughs> and uh, he just sort of left me in a room a while and then, and then they went and talked to everybody in the, in the office and came back and I didn't really get to, to know him, you know, Beyond that, except that he got very angry with me when I walked out on that set that day, and, and I, uh, but he was he was very comfortable to work with. Um, he was always always calling. I think they were separated. He and his wife. He was always on the phone calling. So there was he had problems with that calling her, I guess, or whoever it was. Some some problem with their their relationship, but. I didn't really get to know uh, know know him that well, except that then, of course, every time I like I had to, didn't show up on stage that night, then his wife came and took the stage instead of for me, and then I got blasted again. But one of the parts was they blasted me all, and this 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 newcomer Rhonda Fleming walks off the set of of with big Dick Towles picture, and of course I couldn't help it; I was going to my pants were going to explode. And then I, then she just didn't show up on the stage while my father was dying. So it was beyond that. I didn't really get to know, know the Dick Powell. Except about ten years later, he called and he said, "I would like to, like you to do a television show with me." And I did did one television show with him, and uh, it was his show. And that, that was ten years later. And, and I think he said some lovely things about he sort of figured out that that was why I was not there when I was supposed to be. But it, it was otherwise, I really didn't know him that well. It's just a wonderful gentleman and in every way that, that uh, a, a wonderful man to work with. Just a pleasure to work with. Well, I can understand his being upset when you had to leave the picture because as I'm sure you realize, it's not a big budget picture we're talking about here. Uh, he, he managed to get these two Kansas City businessmen to invest in this film, and it wasn't a big budget, so I'm sure when the star has to leave, it was a, it was a crisis. Uh, do you have any recollections of, of Pal one, that you can share? I have one very specific thing. I read the script. He took me in to meet Powers, who was sitting in a rather empty room. There was a desk. Uh, a chair, a typewriter, a bottle of bourbon, and a bunch of paper. <laughs> and he'd been there for two days. And I said, it was, that's the way he wrote. But uh, that, that's up to I read the script, and, and Powell called me over. I hadn't known him. I, I actually was a big fan of his, because he'd come up, and out of nowhere, this singing kid had become a very, very, very good uh, film noir actor. And anyhow, he said to me, uh, you know, you've got the best part of the picture. And I said, yeah, I know that. <laughs> and he said, now, how can I help you? <laughs> wow. Nice, that's good. That is nice. And he, he did, was very helpful. And uh, I just, he was a great gentleman and very, very good. And, and it was a thrill being with him. Yeah. And, I, and I actually do think, I, when, uh, when he made that transition to being the noir tough guy with Murder My Sweet, yeah. he always struck me as a little uncomfortable in the transition because he was a little jumpy. But boy, he has nailed it dead on in this movie. I mean, he had mastered that. Look, oh, here you go, Rondi. You get your own. Uh, he had mastered the laconic Who is a strange delivery. <laughs> Barry, ladies and gentlemen, this is Barry. Um, <laughs>